Hello YouTubers. And today is Ninja Toll. Ninja Fat. Alright, since we did that one on the Ninja Toe also, this one is just springly explaining how this word came to being. Which this is this Ninja Facts. Um believe it or not. The Ninja Toe has been around for a long time. The rumors, the window windows of the Ninja Toe is profound. I mean, since since before the 60s this was the icon even though this one is not like the one in the uh, Japanese Museum which this one doesn't have a Tatsuba it does got the cloth wrap this is a modern day version but this is not cheap this is probably closest to historical it's gonna get um, and yeah, it's black and everything like that. But what the ninja toe was actually used for was to hack, cut, and defend yourself against the enemy. These swords wouldn't very very sharp at all at the time when 15-1600s um, usually they would dull out before um, before third battle but other than that if a ninja or a shinobi no more had killed a samurai he would have took his sword because it was more constructed well. Um, and this fact that this ninja sword is constructed pretty good. Um, stayed sharp for a long time. And everything like that. But also the ninja toe was lost through history until a couple months back uh, Anthony Cummins had pieced together where the Ninja Toe stood um, after a lot of debates and everything Anthony Cummins found the Ninja Toe in history um, found it in the spear section weird but the spear section um, exactly he found out that in somewhere in the manual are the ninja scrolls in the show inky which is the disputed accounts of life back then um, he found out that they took spears and made the ninja toe. Now they cut down spears to make a straight sword. You know, because probably the metal was good enough to do it with. Um, but other than that, it turned out to be a straight sword. Um, but also the controversy didn't start until the 80s that the ninja toe oh it's fake uh, no if you found it in history is not fake um, it was just 
mislabeled, and then lost through time. After they labeled it, mislabeled it, they lost it. I mean, it was like totally like, what the? Where is that? You know? And um, a Japanese museum has the straight ninja toe, which that also has a lot of debates there. Is ninja toe actually 72 centimeters? Or is it 27 inches or 28 um, the ones that you find in um, like truesores.com all that um, it's just a uh, copy of the original which their copy is like uh, 34 uh, sometimes 38 and 39 inches long, a little bit too long for the actual ninja toe. Um, but yet, people do use those. You know, they collect them, they use them. You know, how I say it, it doesn't really matter if you have the real ninja toe or the facsimile of one. Or the um, copy. If you're just willing to use a sword, you must have to learn through the basics and learn those until you get real good. But also, you have to use a wooden sword. But they also made wooden replicas of the Ninja Toe for practice, which is also a straight oak sword that you know does a facsimile of this the same way as a samurai uses a curved boken which I do use a curved boken hey sword is a sword you use anything you can get um, other than that that was the fact back then that the sword was mislabeled and put in the spear section because it was made out of a spear. The ninja toe that I got right here, I can see this turned into a spear back again. Or for survival. And you never know. If I had to, I'll use this for almost about anything. Yeah. Lasso it to a uh, pole. Spear fishing. Um, digging trenches. You know, this is a multiple tool. It can be used for hacking, chopping. Defense, all around defense. Gosh, I love this thing. And this was also showed in many of my film uh, videos beforehand, uh, before it got my Kiss RDBC got wiped out. Um, this was also in my Night Stealth videos. Yeah, or this, not afraid to, in the nightstand videos, which found out I still got those. So I ain't gonna put them on until I start doing stealth again. Well, that's it for Ninja Facts and everything like that. And I hope you understand that I'm not trying to hurt anyone or dispute the facts because the facts I displayed and hey you know a lot of people sometimes don't like my facts but some of them do so if you do good
Well, that's it for Ninja Facts, and I'm sorry this was 10 minutes long. Sorry.